Hey there, Eli coming at you guys again from OSA Coventry here today to show off our newest saltwater shipment. Today is the 16th of June and last night we just got a bunch of new livestock in both saltwater fish and saltwater inverts. So without further ado, let's take a look at the new fish. This tank up here has a beautiful Sergeant Major damsel that's kind of large. There's a tomato clown that's been here a little while, a mono, a small scopus tang and a beautiful yellow mimic tang that just arrived. This tank down bottom here only has a couple fish in it at the moment, but there is a large blue velvet damselfish and a lunar wrasse. Up next, this tank here has a beautiful powder blue tang that's been here at least two or three weeks now. He's doing quite well. There's also an emperor angelfish that's just starting his transition and he's been doing quite well as well. In addition, there is a orange spot rabbit fish and a gold head sleeper goby in this tank also. Next up, this tank down bottom also has a powder brown tang. This guy has been here probably three weeks as well and a beautiful six bar wrasse. This next tank has a beautiful male blue jaw trigger fish, another powder blue tang, a six line wrasse, a really small one spot fox face. There's also an Aptasia eating file fish, a McCosker's flash of wrasse and a Scopus tang. Up next, this tank still has a couple red scooter blennies in it. There's also a medium-sized Scopus tang, an adorned wrasse that's been here for a few weeks, a Royal Grama, a beautiful clown tang. There's also one or two tail spot blennies, a small six-line wrasse, and another Aptasia eating filefish. Up next, this tank has a beautiful lemon peel mimic tang that's been here a little while now, in addition to another adorned wrasse. There's also a dog face puffer that's been doing quite well here for us. In addition to a new copper band butterfly, a flame hawkfish, a candy hogfish, and a tiger sand sifting goby. This next tank has a two bar rabbit fish, a small hippo tank. There's also one or two electric blue damselfish left, beautiful little yellow chorus tang, another royal grama, a healthy looking diamond goby, and another McCosker's flash of wrasse, as well as a long nose hawkfish. This tank also happens to have a beautiful flame fin to mini tang that's probably between two and a half and three inches long. This next tank has a larger one spot fox face, a beautiful little orange shoulder tang that's still showing his juvenile yellow coloration. Really cool wrasse called a paddle fin wrasse that you might see right now, really active fish. Better for a fish only, not necessarily the most reef safe wrasse, but a really cool fish nonetheless. There's also a long nose butterfly in this tank, a small flame angel fish, a Niger trigger fish, and a larger one spot fox face. In addition, there's also a sawtail or a yellowtail surgeon fish, which is a really interesting tang, something we don't see very often, and something that I've done a spotlight video on the pass on. Definitely a cool fish to be able to check out. This tank has a small shoal of beautiful purple firefish. There's also a Vlamingi tang and a powder brown tang that have been here a little while a larger Aptasia eating filefish, a beautiful flame hawkfish, a couple coupon damsels, a long nose butterfly, and a diamond goby as well. Up top here, we have another dog face puffer. This happens to be a lined dog face. He's been doing quite well for us too. There's a beautiful purple tang that's between three and four inches, a royal grama, a beautiful male green bird wrasse, and another small one spot fox face. This next tank has a beautiful shoal of blue-green chromis. These guys are nice and active and seem pretty healthy. There's also a small shoal of red firefish. In addition to a possum wrasse, another small fox face, one or two small citron gobies, another diamond goby, and a six-line wrasse. This tank here still has a few of our bruisers in it. It's got a beautiful clown trigger fish that's acclimated quite well for us, eating very well and two beautiful groupers, one being a cherry grouper and one being a mini yachtus grouper that are both getting some size to them and eating quite well. And last but not least for the fish room, this last tank has a couple citron gobies still, some beautiful pajama cardinals that are probably two and a half inches in length, another smaller scopus tang, a beautiful copper band butterfly that's being shy at the moment. This also has a pair of tiger sleeper gobies, which are a great sand sifting addition to a lot of aquariums and a very small snowflake moray eel. So that about wraps it up for the new fish, but let's go take a look at all the new inverts to see what we got over there as well. Alrighty, up next for inverts, we do still have one or two chocolate chip starfish, and maybe a couple peppermint shrimp in this tank as well. We did also get some beautiful turbo snails in. These guys happen to be on the larger size, so they should be a great film algae eater for most of your larger aquariums. There's a beautiful little red reef lobster in this tank as well. 
and an awesome green mandarin that just came in. This tank also has a tiger sand sifting conch as well. This tank down here still has a small orange spot watchman that's been here a little while. It also just received some beautiful emerald crabs, at anything from small to mediums, some really nice trochus snails, and another one of those sand sifting conchs. This next tank up here has another beautiful mandarin that just arrived. It does also have a sand sifting conch and a couple red fromia starfish, in addition to maybe one or two porcelain anemone crabs. This tank down here has a bunch of astrea snails, which are a great cheaper addition, a really active algae grazer that help clean up the rocks and clean up the glass. Uh, there's also a bunch of brand new Halloween hermit crabs. These guys are a larger hermit that are a fun addition to most reef tanks and are generally reef safe. This tank also has a tiger sand sifting conch and a small handful of cleaner shrimp. This next tank also has a good group of those beautiful turbo snails. These are medium to large in size. There's also a pink and black sea cucumber, which is a great sand sifting addition to most tanks. There's also another one of those sand sifting conchs a beautiful pencil urchin, a small handful of fire shrimp, and an arrow crab as well. I do believe this tank also has another green mandarin in it too. Last but not least, this last tank has a small handful of emerald crabs and another grouping of trochus snails, in addition to another one of those conchs. This tank also has a beautiful blue spot jawfish. This guy has been here for at least two, maybe three weeks now very hardy specimen these fish don't always ship the best and this guy is definitely proving us wrong in that matter he's been doing very well for us not very shy and eating quite well so if that's something you were hoping to add to an aquarium this guy would be a great specimen to try with in addition we did just get a whole bunch of new freshwater inventory last week as well a bunch of new community stuff and a handful of cichlids we do also still have a bunch of corals that came in at the beginning of the month still some really cool interesting stuff to pick through and there should be things across the board to be able to check out this weekend for you guys. So thank you guys for tuning in. And as always, keep it fishy.